for reported attempts by burglars to break into the residence of the chief of staff to the president, Professor Ibrahim Gambari, has been generating different reactions on social media. While the debate on if the event happened in the villa or on the street close to the villa continues, issues of security has become a thing of major concern for citizens in the Federal Capital Territory, FCT. Last week, a member of the House of Representatives, Nicholas Osai from Delta State, reported a case of burglary at his office located at the National Assembly Complex, which is within the Three Arms Zone in Abuja. Mr. Osai raised a point of order on personal explanations. He informed the House that his office was buggled and computers and other items were carted away from his office. The Speaker responded that the leadership will be meeting the management of the National Assembly to discuss the degrading level of security at the National Assembly. Before the incidents of theft at the office of the lawmaker, there had been increasing security presence at the National Assembly with an exercise in the number of checkpoints. Two weeks ago, following a mass protest by legislative aides over 22 months of unpaid areas, a combined team of police and sergeants at harm created an extra security presence at some of the entrances with an extra scrutiny of ID cards and visitors tags of those going into the complex. It is unknown if these new security measures have anything to do with the alarm raised by the governor of Niger State, Abubakar Belu, who said terrorists are infiltrating a state, a neighboring state to the Federal Capital Territory, FCT. Back in January, the governor of Nasarawa State, Abdullahi Sule, also raised a similar alarm on activities of Boko Haram in a state, another state that shares a boundary with the Federal Capital Territory, FCT. Furthermore, activities of the unknown gunmen suspected to be members of the Eastern Security Network, ESN, an armed group of the indigenous people of Biafra, has raised security concern across the country. On Monday, police released a statement that IPOB is planning to attack Lagos. The National Assembly sees a lot of traffic daily and more during sitting days of Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. There are 469 members of the National Assembly, 109 senators, and 360 representatives, each with support staff that ranges from 3 to 5. Also, there is National Assembly Brukesi and visitors that regularly flock to the complex. There are two external gates at the complex, one at the Eagle Square Axis and the OSGF Axis. And there are three internal gates, one via the main entrance, second through the annex close to SGF and other gates linking the presidential villa to the National Assembly. Despite this, management of the institution has failed to create a uniform identification system for workers, journalists and visitors to the complex. Several journalists who work at the complex are given a temporary pass while some are using paper pass. More importantly, the security scrutiny has been 
on painted taxis and pedestrian while no makers with official plates numbers are allowed into the complex without scrutiny by the security operatives a driver of ride hailing service david morrison who spoke with daily post expressed frustration over the attitude of the security personnel at the national assembly they will not allow me to come and pick you at the car park outside the complex morrison said last week when responding to a request by a reporter of daily trust nicholas osai the victim of the latest robbery at the national assembly did not respond to request for comments while wali raji the chairman of the house committee on house service the committee in charge of the welfare of the lawmakers did not reply to request for comments the chairman of police community relations committee fct command ajibola adigun said the recent cases of burglars at homes or houses pardon of high profile persons look more than inside job than general insecurity in the city the attack or attempted robbery at the house of professor gambari look like an inside job chief ajibola adigun stated while speaking with daily post he said that crime has reduced in the federal capital territory under the fct commissioner of police bala sairoma he therefore advised the chief of staff to assess those working for him one of the most notable attacks against the national assembly in recent time has been the cutting away of the maids of the senate by some individuals allegedly as the behest of the current deputy president of the senate senator obiv omagege the brazil event that happened in 2017 some of the vulnerability of the security of the national assembly according to report the assassins gained entrance because they were seen to be with the senator who was then just a member of the senate in 2019 protest by members of the islamic movement of nigeria imn over the incarceration of the leader ibrahim turned violent and some members of the sec attempted to breach the security of the national assembly that event led to the injury of one police officer and with imn claiming that police shot severely at its members what do you make of what has been said so far what is your thought and reaction on this what is your point of view about what has been said guest commented on what has been said and said they are not boko harams they are buhari boys he will soon hand over power to them please kindly divide this country before that plan we have had what guest has said about this or issue that these people are not boko harams they are buhari boys and he will soon hand over power to them we should kindly divide this country before that plan what do you make of what has been said by guest do you think dividing this country is the next you know right thing to do do you think is the best way to go about this current situation as we can see now in the news that we have fear and there is also doubt over the safety of asorok including the national assembly and courts we would like you to share your thoughts the thoughts on what has been said thank you guys for listening do subscribe to this channel if you have not and i'll see you on the other news bye for now